Hello everyone, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with another model review today. This time I will be reviewing the Aero Classics 1 to 400 WestJet 737 Max 8. Uh, before I get started, I have a couple shout outs. Uh, uh, shout out for Cincinnati Spotter 210. Um, go check out his channel. Um, shout out to you. And then also I have a shout out for Aviation Winnipeg. This uh, model review is dedicated to you, WestJet being your favorite airline. Uh, please go check out Aviation Winnipeg. And obviously, uh, let's get started with the review. Put the model to the side. Um, this model turned out much better than I had thought it would. Um, it is actually a really good mold. So if you are considering getting these, uh, then I would recommend it. Okay, so we have 737 Max on top, the bubble where the model sits, uh, Aero Classics in uh, cursive writing, and then we have 1 to 400, and then you have a label. There's the registration and the aircraft. There's the barcode, item number from the store I got it from. Here you have um, 737 MAX and then 737 MAX. And on the back, there's a um, what do you call it? There's a <laughs> two-dimensional image of the model and then of the aircraft. And then here's your QR codes and not suitable for children under 14, contains small parts, you know, all that stuff. All right, kind of a boring box. So let's get started with the best part, the model. All right. Okay. So, all right, so you have the cockpit windows. There's the nose, got the nose cone. Uh, there's your windshield wipers right here. And let's go over here. We've got the pedo tubes. Kind of surprising that Aero Classics put pedo tubes. Um, let's see. So let's go down here. You got your nose gear door 301. There's the L1 boarding door. You got the WestJet titles. There's your logo. If you actually look at the landing gear, it's actually not too bad. There's pretty good detail for, you know, Aero Classics. Just a second. All right. So let's come down here. You got the chevrons on your engines for fuel efficiency here. There's your red navigation light. Uh, there might be a landing light right there in the corner. Hard to tell for sure. All right, got your two overwing exits here, your egress arrows, the uh, detail lining on the wing, very nice. All right, come down here, you got your cabin windows coming all the way back, and then your registration C-FRAX, the Canadian flag with, um, just a second proudly above it proudly Canadian and then of course underneath it is 737-8 there's your rear door catering door got the APU one of the distinctive features of the 737 max is the pointed APU exhaust down here uh, tail the tails a little bit darker the color than Gemini Jets uh, but then again, so are most of the other models that came out. There's your um, horizontal stabilizers. A little bit of detail there. All right, guys. Uh, here are your winglets. Um, I believe they're called, I don't remember what the exact name is, but the special 
of max winglet. It's a little bit different than the Gemini Jet. So if you're using Gemini Jets as your basis for deciding whether to get this, um, decide if the winglet has to be perfect. Uh, basically meaning if you can if you can handle a little bit of error on what the winglet looks like on the model then go ahead and get it if not then you probably don't want to get it okay so let's turn the aircraft around so here is your forward baggage compartment and your rear baggage compartment everything else is pretty much the same green navigation light and the practically invisible landing light and there's the rest of the aircraft here actually uh, would be your Wi-Fi box and then your uh, antennas up here okay so let's turn the aircraft over so let's get a little bit of a focus here maybe all right so there's your your nose gear actually looks pretty good considering you know Aero Classics has definitely stepped up their game. Um, if they're, if Gemini Jets is not careful and does not get their quality in line, I think people are probably going to jump ship. Uh, because Aero Classics used to be one of the laughing stocks of the model industry. Well, not so much anymore. <laughs> okay. So here's your really nice detail on the bottom here. You got all these markings that never used to exist on Aero Classics models. You got under the engine uh, detail here, your stand hole. You actually have two-piece wing, each, so each wing attached to the side of the fuselage. Uh, stand hole, I don't remember if I said that. There's not as much under wing detail as perhaps on Gemini Jets uh, or Phoenix. Here is C-FRAX, the registration. Um, let's see here. Get a little bit of focus. All right, come back down here. There is the APU access door, uh, the underside of the horizontal stabilizers. The underside of the wings is not really fantastic, but then again, it's not really absolutely fantastic on Gemini Jets or Phoenix either, but who looks at the bottom underside of the aircraft anyway? Uh, and then of course there's the outside of the top winglet on both sides, and there's a little bit of a back view. So anyways guys, if you are deciding whether or not to get this model, I hope this review helps you. Uh, I am not disappointed at all and now that I make a detailed look at the model in the review I'm even more impressed with the quality that Aero Classics is putting out this is probably a brand new mold because I believe these are the first max aircraft that Aero, Aero Classics has put out or at least really close to it so anyways guys uh, thank you so so much for watching um, Please like, comment, and subscribe as always, and I will see you in the next video.